It's early in the morning. It's travel day. Six weeks in Turkey, and here is Mir in Uzelbash. Love this place. I will miss seeing this every day while I'm working. Places, the people. Turkey has been awesome. We're hugging Rackle. We sold our house, we sold our cars, and we sold all of our stuff. So we could travel the world full time. While working full time. We are just average people who have always wanted to see the world. Come follow along while we listen to the greatest hits. He just carried two very large suitcases down three very windy staircase. So yeah, that's uh, kind of crazy. We're actually not rushing too much right now. We're gonna go in and have breakfast. Our next place is not by the water. It is landlocked. So we shall have some fun looking around the city. So he made us breakfast and we decided since it's our last day and it is stinking beautiful out here, we're gonna eat out on the patio. All it costs you is selling all of your stuff, selling your house, getting rid of all your possessions and your security. That's it. That's all the price. It's not a big deal. I mean, is it worth it? A million times over. Yes, very worth it. Talk about that all the time. We miss our friends. We miss our family a lot, but glad to not have a house to deal with and anything else. And dude, we get to see the world. We highly recommend. Yeah. There's no other negative that we can think of after four months of this. Yes, we miss people, but considering our entire lives are now this, and that's all that we regret, for lack of a better word, I'd say that's pretty good. Definitely highly recommend. It's been a great place, but it's time to go. It's all empty now. <laughs> Thomas is out. You have to go through checkout twice here. Put your baggage through the fifth twice. Need it inside. It's ridiculous. So yeah, we're gonna try and get a little coffee. After that, I'm gonna need like five of them. Orange juice and cappuccino. It's definitely the way to fuel a day like this. So we had a little bit here. So we'll head over to our gate just a sec. Here we are. Made it on the plane. It's right in the dirt. Getting ready to take off in a few minutes to head to Istanbul. Change planes. Fly to Sofia. See our girls at the bus station for about an hour. Yep. And then go to Pravda on a bus. Yep. Long day of travel. So I'm gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> We're both gonna be tired. <laughs> we are so tired. <laughs> yes. We haven't even left yet. For those of you out here that have never flown Turkish Air, seats are pretty big and comfortable. They serve food and drinks. Not a, not a lot of choices of drinks, but still, they don't sprint. At least not any of the flights we've ever been on. This flight from Izmir to Istanbul is about 45 minutes. They serve hot sandwiches and drinks. I didn't even have time to eat time before they came back to get all the trash. That short of a flight. It's still so hot. Every time. We haven't had one flight with Turkish Air where we didn't get something to eat. So. Good service. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up Turkish Air. We have landed in Istanbul. Ladies and gentlemen and dear children, Dear children, Istanbul Airport, leading point of the world. We hope that you have a pleasant flight. Istanbul Airport is like a really high end balls. Phew, we made it. That was crazy. We got off the plane onto the tarmac and had to walk down the stairs outside. Good thing it wasn't raining. <laughs> Then they shuffled everybody onto a bus and our bus driver, I think he thought that he was like a race car driver. 
because he was flying and everybody's going like this and their luggage is rolling all over the place. And everybody's standing up. So. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's not a seating kind of bus. St standing up with your luggage. It was pretty funny. Luggage rolling, people <laughs> tipping. I mean, this guy was crazy around the corners. Finally made it to the terminal we needed to be at. Then we had to go through another security. Third That's one. Third one in one country. Seems a little excessive, but whatever. We do what we gotta do. We gotta figure out a way to get through these things easier and better. So, <laughs> it's, some, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> some some Turkish beer. I'm tired. Sweaty. Dude. We're only less than halfway through our oh, yeah, travel no. day. Yeah, we're like a quarter of the way because we have to do another plane yeah. ride all the way to Sofia and then a bus ride from Sofia to Plovdiv. So you have to laugh and enjoy it because if you let yourself get stressed out about stuff like this, it's not for you because yeah. it, this is normal. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Expect to sweat a lot and to do the same things repeatedly over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. So I don't know if they're going to make us go through something once we get to Sofia because it's a new country. So we don't know. The, most people, the security is not as big a deal. We do when it once or twice. Full time <laughs> digital nomads like we are Ugh. and you work like we do. We have two laptops. I have two him. screens and he has two screens. We have, which have to go through separate screening Chromebook. Kindles and, and we have lots of equipment because our whole life is with us. Keep it's thinking, just, how can we make it smaller? But it just, it's not possible. Unless we're gonna wear the same shirt, underwear, and pants every single day, it's not possible. I'm fairly sure the people around us are glad that we don't. I'm fairly sure I'm glad you don't do that. <laughs> we're trying to pare down, but we still have too much, apparently. We'll figure it out. Yep. So for now, we're tired and sweaty and done talking. Bye. Made it to Sophia through everything with no problem. Got our luggage and it's raining. Waiting for a taxi. There's a bunch over there, but I don't think that's what we're waiting for. You put in for one, so I guess we'll see. Oh, we finally made it. We made it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a day. Gosh, I guess it's been a 13 hour day. Feels longer. Uh, <laughs> we are finally <laughs> here in the Airbnb. The bus ride. And we are thrilled to Crazy. finally be done. Yes. Traveling. Yes! And this place is so nice. Yeah. And the owner is so nice. Yeah. I just love it when we hit the jackpot with the people that we're renting from. It's so much nicer. Well, not just that. I mean, the the bus uh, ride, we oh. had to find a cab. We were having After. trouble. And the people at the bus station were like, there was a guy named Angel. He was super nice, super friendly, and super helpful oh trying gosh. to get us a taxi. Uh, just anyway. a big mess, but everybody is so sweet, and everybody did everything they could to help, and it was just made yeah. it a lot less stressful than it could have been. Love so. all the people we encountered. Yes, before. already. But here is our um, balcony. Thought you might want to see the view. Yeah. Well, it kind of reminds us of Trastevere a little bit. It's to me this combines the balcony of Palermo, the atmosphere of Tra Trastevere. We're very excited. I think there's somebody singing down there, apparently. We are at our new Airbnb, and I'm gonna give you a tour. There's lots to explore, lots to look at, and we are so excited to finally be here. And we are super hungry because we haven't eaten much but a sandwich on the airplane today. So we're gonna go find some food in our new neighborhood. So language might be a little difficult here, but I think we'll get it.
We're eating here. We're not sure what we're gonna end up with, but I guess we'll see. We found food. It's like a chicken wrap of some sort. It was very inexpensive, so we're liking that so far. Eating it out on our cute balcony.